this is Christine with Coco Daisy and today I wanted to just do a quick little flip through of my finished February Simple Dory booklet and this is using the Coco Daisy uh, Traveler's Notebook. We call it our Simple Dory because it's geared uh, directly toward memory keeping and it's done in a way that we hope makes it very simple and easy for you to use. A lot of the pages already come kind of designed or laid out for you, so it makes it super fast and super easy to use. It also is sold as part of a kit, so not only do you get the uh, Simple Dory booklet, but you also get um, a bunch of the embellishments, a stamp set, alpha stickers, all of the um, kind of bits and pieces you would need to create a whole album for the month. So I'm gonna flip through and just kind of go over each page and um, kind of show you some of the, the ideas that I came up with for the month that uh, may inspire you and give you some ideas as well. So the front page, we always have this little like uh, book play area and I like to use that as kind of for the label of my album or my notebook. And so this one I just used a couple die cuts that it is for February. And then in a few spots you'll see I used some note cards. These note cards are from the pocket memory keeping kit. So there are some items in here from some of our other Coco Daisy kits um, that I've put in here, but the majority of the, of the stuff that I use is from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. So just a little label sticker and um, a little die cut, super simple. And this I have not filled in the um, journaling yet, but we have a couple pages in the booklet that have these um, kind of fun lines and so you could do a lot of journaling on those pages. And then on this page, and this is one of the layouts, in each kit I also include an instruction sheet that has two uh, layouts that are already done to show you, kind of give you a jump start to show you how to use the product and kind of get you into that booklet right away and, and um, enjoying it. And so this one I showed how to use the stamp set which was an alpha stamp set that had all of the little candy hearts and how I stamped the background and then um, I stamped the word love here above little blues, little cute little face just a little tag with the journaling and then again a super simple because the the uh, layout is already done for you this has the the printed arrow pattern on the top I just added photograph some alpha stickers journaling and then some washi tape along the bottom and then on this one I just added a tag with an instax uh, photograph and then the heart was actually from a cutout from, and the coffee cups were cutouts from the free printable. So every month we have free printables uh, that you can get on our website and that's where those came from. So I just put those on, added some alpha stickers and a little bit of journaling. This was the other layout that was used in the instruction sheet. We had these cute tags in the kit and um, I thought they were kind of fun little journaling prompts. So I was able to put two pictures. I journaled a kind of um, around the pattern paper square and then add a little journaling there as well. This one, uh, this one had the pattern on this side and it already had these arrows on this side. So it made it really easy to just kind of, I added the, these were some chipboard alphas from my stash, but then I added some of the the die cut arrows that came in the kit and it just kind of points your eye into this area and it goes along with that theme on that side. So that was fun. And then this is something else that you can do in the January booklet. I talked about how you can cut some of the pages down. You can use a border punch on some of the edges. So on in February, I wanted to do something else with one of the edges. So I added the little pom-pom fringe. So I thought that was cute when it's closed. You can see the little pom-pom fringe. I added some of the little sequins because they reminded me of sprinkles, which is where the donuts are from. And I just used a little bit of uh, regular Elmer's uh, white glue to adhere those. And then on this page, just a simple Instax photograph. Uh, printed off a couple strips of journaling and then the milkshake is from my die cut machine 
And then I, so I used that for the title and then I stamped the word love here with those uh, little Candy Heart Alpha stamps again. And then uh, this one is a kind of a neat example on how to use some ephemera. So if you go to a concert or a movie or even any sort of an event like uh, Jeffrey and, and Nate went to a car show and they saved the tag. So I was able to just kind of tuck that in. It's, kind of, it's, it's a fun way to add little bits of ephemera and, and keep those in with your memories. And then just a, um, a little tab or a little label with the date in there. And then a little bit of journaling. And this was actually a sticker that I just notched on each end and it kind of made a cute little banner to just kind of um, underline the, the title. And then this one I thought was cute because this one really looked like a good Valentine theme with Simon and Betty and he's showering with her with hearts. So I used this spread for a little Valentine night dinner. And in the kit, we had these cute little um, puffy candy hearts. So you'll see those in a couple spots as well. And then this one, again, this rectangle of pattern was already printed on here, which made it real easy. I love this particular um, layout because it's real simple for me to layer a photograph with a few things and, and then it's basically done. I created this little banner with um, just different bits of washi tape folded over some string and then I just adhered some of them down with some foam tape. So that kind of um, gives a great little bit of texture in there. And I thought it went well with that particular pattern. And then here's an example of how I um, border punched the edge of a page. Because again, I like the way that those kind of uneven layers look. I cut this out from one of the uh, pocket uh, journaling cards and just used it more like a die cut than an actual journaling card. Added my journaling in it and a little sticker, a couple of other stickers. And then this one, just one of the tags from the kit. I added my journaling right onto the tag and then just a full photo on the other page. And then the last page, this was kind of something fun that I, that I wanted to try. I punched directly through the page to kind of create these kind of fun layers. So it kind of peeks through, you see the craft on this side, and then on the other side, you'll see the hearts going down and, and you see bits of the photograph come through, but they look just like more patterned hearts. So that was kind of a fun, a fun thing. And I've done that before, um, I think in the March, uh, notebook, the instruction sheet has a layout where I talk about uh, doing a punch through like that. So it's kind of a fun technique to try. So that is my February booklet and I hope you get some fun ideas from that. I hope you get some inspiration. If you have any questions about um, any of these particular layouts or if you uh, have any questions about our Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit or the Simple Dory, just post them in the comments below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.